Oh no, Microsoft has decided to block the account bypass method. Wait a second, wait a second, my friend. Although this is true, it is important to highlight that this is happening on the insider builds of Windows, not yet publicly released. The publicly released 25H2 version still allows for the use of the bypass methods previously discussed in this channel. I wanted to make this video to clarify that you can still use the bypass methods and not to panic. Truth is that in the near future, or who knows when, the implementation might start happening. For those reasons, I went ahead and downloaded the Windows 25 H2 version to install it on my system. We will see if the bypass method still works and we will talk about it. This will help you be aware of the different methods to bypass a Microsoft account login. Let me quickly explain some details about local account versus a Microsoft account. A Microsoft account basically links all your data to the cloud. Therefore, it makes it easier to transfer files and data to your new build. A local account only stores data and information on a single machine but provides the most privacy when used. I can cover the many pros and cons, but in my opinion, a local account is better for my purposes and for my privacy. Okay, and let's go to the computer so that I can show you something. Okay, and now in our computer, let me quickly explain as well what is the insider build and the public uh, build. Basically, the insider build is when you enroll to receive the newest update and the newest features with uh, OS with Windows 11. For example, you'll have uh, features that have not yet been publicly released so you're testing new stuff so most likely that insider build might come up in the future with those same settings so as of right now if you go to windows uh, microsoft just type windows 11 on google and you'll see the download option for the new 25h2 version and what i want to clarify is that you're seeing all these bypass um, microsoft decided to cut the bypass methods they are planning on doing it, but as of right now, if you go and download this 25H2 version, you'll still be able to use the old bypass method for the Microsoft account. But users are already creating new methods to bypass that account. And we're going to see some of those methods today. We're still going to try the old method, and then we're going to try the new method so you know how to bypass that in the future if Microsoft decides to completely block the other options uh, to bypass a Microsoft account. So I've already downloaded my 25H2 version and we're gonna go to the computer to the installation screen. Okay, and something that I wanna talk about, Windows Home versus Windows Pro. Windows Pro is gonna allow you to create a local account because this uh, version of Windows is made for corporations, companies, so that they can better uh, customize their infrastructure and their components to be able to service them. So in this case, we're just gonna go quickly uh, we're going to go briefly over the local account uh, edition in a Windows 11 Pro machine. Okay, we're going to go skip. Skip for now. Okay, and this is going to be one of the differences with Windows 11 Professional. You can also set up for work or school. You can click here, go next, then you're going to get sign in options. You go to sign in options and you can do domain join instead. You're going to be able to do this and this is not going to go away because companies need to be able to set up their systems this way or whatever way to be able to just set them up and then users can log in with their stuff separately so what we're going to do is we're going to do admin we're going to do admin and we'll do raw so you know this is these this version and no password and the computer is going to start setting up that local account so you'll see that uh Normally with Windows Home, you are not going to get this option. So you got to have a good bypass method. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in that screen until you provide your Microsoft account. Okay, and in our computer, we're, we're going to see here, Admin Pro, and we're going to click here. You'll see that it says local account and something. We're going to go to about as well so, you can, so, so that you can see the uh, version of uh, Windows 11. And you'll see here we're on 25H2 Windows 11 Pro. And this is the OS build if you're interested. And you'll see local account up here. So with Windows 11 Professional, if that's the uh, operating system you're installing, you're going to be able to create your local account pretty easily without a problem. Most Windows 11 installations are Windows 11 Home. So a lot of these uh, uh, people are not able to bypass that and they just create the Microsoft account. and 
This way we can give them an alternative to be able to create your local account without having to struggle with uh, having to create a Microsoft account. And this is all about having options. So let's go over to our Windows 11 Home installation. Okay, now we are on the Windows 11 Home installation screen and you'll see in a second how we set it up. So you're gonna go, yes, uh, US. Okay, and this is where you're gonna see the difference between Windows 11 Pro and Windows 11 Home. You'll see here, you don't have the option to set up for work or school. So you can either sign in or you won't be able to move on with a local account. And you'll see here, forgot, face, it doesn't allow you to do the domain related stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try the old method to see if it works on this version. This is 25H2, 26200 decimal 6584. And this, this is a public version. So we're gonna give it a try. So you know it's a start MS uh, CXH local only. And this way we'll verify if we are still able to use our old bypass method with the 25H2, this version that is public. Enter, you see the screens popping up and it's letting us admin and we're gonna name it HM, HM1, admin HM1. Next, no, no password. Okay, and you see it's going through the uh, uh, setup of the local account. So you can see that it works with the current build that they have as of right now, October 16, 2025. Okay, let's verify real quick. Okay, we're gonna go to about. And if we go down, we see 25H2 again, and Windows 11 Home. So you can see uh, that it changed to Home. So we are doing that. Uh, OS build, the OS build that we talk about is a local account. So we know the uh, old bypass method, it's working with this current public uh, publicly released version. Now let's go ahead and try other methods to bypass that account. And I'll talk about it, about it in a second. Okay, and we are here again in the installation screen so that we can try another bypass method that it, this these new bypass methods are supposed to work if they decide to block the old bypass methods. So we'll have a few more options. So in case they block the other option in the future, right? So as of right now, hopefully they don't find these methods and then they block these ones too. Because uh, I don't know Microsoft, but they should give us a break and allow us to use a local account if we want to. But okay, we'll we'll have our workarounds. And let's do let's do it the first way. If you go and do control, shift, and J. Okay, and this is basically the JavaScript console on uh, Windows. You open it with control, shift, and J. And now if you wanna type something, uh, there's a command that we can use to allow us to do the local account. And I will add everything, uh, all the details on the description and also on the video. And pay attention to the capitals and then we're gonna press enter in here. Once this screen appears, do control, shift and J to exit the console. And there you go. And now in here, we're gonna be putting in the uh, admin or whatever uh, name you wanna add to your local account. I'm gonna do admin JS because we did it with a JavaScript uh, console and I'm gonna do next, see if it works. And this is one of the new methods. The older methods st still work. So just remember that. Okay, so we are on the computer. We'll wait to see the about details. About, and we'll see here, admin JS, like we set it up, 11 home, 25H2 in the same build version. And now we're gonna do and try another method now. Okay, and we are in the install screen on Windows 11 home. Like I said, most most of these uh, bypasses, you'll need them with uh, Windows 11 Home. Okay, and we are in the uh, sign-in page again. Something that we're going to be doing is we're going to do Shift F10, regedit. it. We're going to go to local machine. We're going to go to software. We're going to go to Microsoft. We're going to go to Windows. Windows, we're gonna go to current version, OOB, and in OOB, we're gonna do a DWORD 32-bit value. We're gonna name it hide 
online account screens and then we're gonna modify and we're gonna add a one okay and now we're gonna exit out of here and let's see sign in okay so something we can do is we can do a shift f10 and then shut down shut down s t and then zero okay make sure you turn on your computer now okay we're going to go through these settings again okay now you see after the shutdown it was able to see that uh, registry change that we did uh because if we go to the to the screen to the sign-in screen like i did i'm pretty much i should have set it up beforehand but because i went to the sign-in screen i kind of had to do a power cycle and now we can do admin and then do hn2 because this is a new alternative way of doing the bypass method we tried the javascript console then we're trying this one by changing the registry and we're going to see if it works okay and we are in the computer now we're going to go about and we're going to verify again because i want to make sure that i show proof that i'm doing the work Windows 11 Home 25H2, the same always build, and we are admin home 2, HM2, local account. So we covered the old way of doing things and some uh, other alternative, newer ways of doing this uh, account uh, bypass on, on Windows, on the Windows installation. And you can still uh, use Rufus, you can still use uh, unattended files to be able to install Windows without going through the account setup and things like that. This is just another method to bypass that uh, Microsoft account when you install Windows. Let's say you buy a laptop or you buy a new desktop computer and you go through the installation process and it already has Windows installed. This is perfect, these methods for those new computers that you get. That way you don't have to recreate a drive and recreate the wheel and reinstall something that is already there. You'll be able to bypass the uh, Microsoft account requirement and you'll be able to go into a local account if that is what you prefer. Save these options and know something. There's other bypass methods, but I thought these ones were the coolest. So I wanted to cover them in a video because I know a lot of people are talking about, oh, Microsoft is removing this. And even though it's on the insider uh, build, the public build, you can still use the old bypass methods. So I hope uh, I can clarify and keep you guys informed on this uh, latest issue that has been going on around uh, YouTube and, and the internet. And just know that uh, it, it's probably a matter of time before they remove the old method. But here you have another uh, couple methods. I saw one on uh, somebody else's channel and I thought it was really cool. I'll, I'll try to add the, uh, the name of the channel up here. And also the other one, I think I saw it on a forum. So I thought it was uh, pretty easy to to change. So I, I decided to add that as a secondary option. But I hope you guys uh, like this video. And I hope this uh, helps you guys keep uh, updated on what's going on. Or, or maybe just keep your notes. Like I said, I, I keep notes for a lot of these changes. And if I need to revise something or remember something, I just go to my notes, check it, re check it out real quick. And then I use these uh, settings on my newer systems or if I go and help someone build a computer or something like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You all have a nice day. Local Tech Man out.